Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Right behind me, I'm going to talk to you about the 2016 Thor Challenger 35HT. It's going to be the uh, shortest floor plan in the Thor lineup, but having three slides, one of them a full wall slide, more than makes up for it inside. It's going to be very spacious. We'll check that out in just a bit. But first, let's talk about some of the great things you're going to have on the outside of the Challenger. We're going to start off on the windshield. That's going to be a very nice, large automotive of bonded windshield all one piece uh, that way it's not going to have any leaks very easy to see out of that as well on the side you'll have your mirrors these are going to have uh, bi-directional mirrors so you can get the two directions in there as well as right here you'll have your side view camera that way as soon as you turn on your blinker you'll be able to see what's next to you check your blind spot make sure you're not going to side swipe anyone now the Challenger is going to be on the Ford V10 chassis. That's a Triton V10 in there. It's gonna put out about 360 horse, right around 460 foot-pounds of torque. What that means for you, not only is this enough power to move the coach, but also you're gonna be able to tow 8,000 pounds on here. That's pretty incredible given its size. As we start to move along the coach, I want to point out right here, we're going to have a nice long awning. All right, big power awning, going to span almost the entire length of the coach. That way, just touch of a button rolls out, touch of a button rolls back in. Also, along uh, all the slides, you're going to have slide out toppers. Those are very advantageous. You don't have to get up there and clean the top of your slides off before you put them in. You can just put your slide in, Every, anything that's on top of there will roll off, you're good to go. Also on the main slide here, you're going to have your two external speakers. This will be controlled inside. Uh, there, there is going to be Bluetooth capability, so if you have an iPod or a phone, you can hook that up. That way you can sit out here, change the music right from your, port or your uh, handheld device. As we look underneath, one of the things I love about the Challenger is going to be the storage. So you have big, nice, heavy-duty doors. As they swing open, they're going to be strut controlled, so they stop right at the end. And look at all that size, folks. You're going to get actual pass-through storage on top. That's because they're going to use a 13-inch I-beam, which is going to be uh, considerably larger than, than your standard in this class. So that allows you to get that extra storage. Not only do you have the one compartment there, but you also get two and three here as well. So huge compartments, they're all gonna be the rotocast, so that way it's going to be waterproof. Um, you know, they'll have individual drains down at the bottom, so if you, you know, have uh, fish in there, or ice, or anything, whatever it may be, you can go ahead and drain that out. Also, as we're talking about the frame, one of the things that's gonna be very important, Challenger pays a lot of attention to quality. So one of the things they do when they are rigging this up is they have a special table built where the tolerance are going to be within 0 0.008 of an inch from the front corner to the rear opposite corner. So that way when they're putting the chassis together, it's not going to have any flex in there. That's going to be a big deal. Along with that, you're going to have this beautiful paint job. This is going to be one of the best paint jobs in the industry. It's going to be Sickens Paint. If you're not familiar with Sickens Paint, let me tell you about it. This is the same paint that they're going to use on Ferraris and Lamborghinis. The reason is the paint never truly cures. So what that means for you is that you're not going to get any spider cracks. A lot of your paints you'll see start cracking like up at the top along the roof line. That's going to be from the coach flexing over time. That paint can't handle it. Because it's never truly cures, that paint's just going to move right with it. You'll never have that problem. Excellent paint job that they put on here. This will be a midship door, nice easy entryway. When we open it up, of course, we're going to have power steps. Two steps come out nice and low for the first step. You get an assisted grab rail right here to walk into the coach, making it nice and easy for you. Here's going to be our fresh water tank. This is going to be a 100 gallon fresh water tank. Uh, a couple of great things that Thor does on here. One, you see this black panel. This is going to cover up all your sensors. Thor puts all the sensors on the outside of the tanks. That way they never get gummed up. So you'll always have accurate readings. And if for whatever reason you do have to replace one, again, it's a lot easier to replace. Also, you're going to have a one inch dump valve, a much bigger valve. You have a big tank. You don't want to have to sit there forever when you're dumping it. So they have a nice big, easy dump valve for you. Right above, wouldn't be complete without an outside TV. And there that is, it's gonna be underneath your awning so you can put out some chairs, you know, have everyone really sit around, watch the game, enjoy yourself. It's always a great addition to have. 
moving around to the back half of the coach, we'll see here, not only are we gonna have a storage compartment there, but we're also going to get a very large storage compartment right here. Again, a ton of storage in this coach. It's always something that it's important to have. The more storage, the better. And then on this side, you will have your propane tank. As we move around to the back of the coach, you get the beautiful rear cap on here. You're going to have your ladder. This is gonna uh, make it so you don't have to bring a separate ladder, which is always great. Gonna be attached, always gonna be there. And it's nice and easy to climb up on the roof. It is a fully walkable roof, of course, so you can get up there for any kind of maintenance. Or maybe if you have a beautiful view and you just need a higher vantage point, you can climb up there and use it for that as well. You'll also have your backup camera. Uh, that's, you know, so as you're backing up, you can see what you're doing. And you'll also have a nice large picture window. While I'm talking about the windows, one of the things I do want to point out, this does have the frameless dual pane windows. That's going to be important. The dual pane windows are not only going to be uh, better for vibration, you're not going to hear them vibrate as you're going down the road, but they're also going to be a lot better for sound quality while you're camping, and it's going to give you better insulation values. Definitely something of note. You have your hot water tank here. One of the things I want to point out that Challenger does, if you look, this is going to be flat. They recess this in, so it's going to be flat and smooth all the way across, really just giving it that fine look. As we move down this side of our bays, you'll see here we're going to have Cummins Onan 5500 generator. So that generator is going to be able to power everything inside the coach. We'll talk a little bit more about the power management system and the generator when we head inside. Here is going to be our power hookup. Nice big bay, you'll see at the bottom you have a hole, that way your cord can drop right down through, making sure that you keep everything clean and neat. Here's going to be our termination. Again, you'll have a hole in the bottom, so you can just drop that through as we be able to close the door. And as we move further back up the coach, this is going to be our convenience center. So we have all our water hookups. You'll see there you have a, a whole house filter. Also in the bottom right hand corner, I wanna point out, you do get your water pump right here. So if a lot of times if something is gonna go wrong on your water system, it's gonna be your water pump. Thor made sure it's nice and easy to access right there. You have your outside shower, um, connections for hooking up for uh, winterization, antifreeze, everything super convenient. Here is going to be your batteries, and also you will see you're going to have your uh, hydraulic system here. They are going to be color-coded, so you know exactly what each one is going to. Super simple to use and operate, and again, everything's gonna be in one place for you. Here, we're going to have more storage, and then same thing with the two up front, continuing the storage that we saw on the other side. This is going to be the Tundra full body paint. Beautiful color out here. I know it's gorgeous. Let's go ahead and check out the amazing inside. Welcome to the beautiful inside of the 2016 Thor Challenger 35HT. The 35HT may be the smallest in the Challenger lineup, but it's still gonna have ample space, as you can tell. You get dual opposing slides here. One of them's gonna be a full wall slide, which really, really opens it up. But let's go ahead and start over on the main slide here, which is going to have your couch. So your couch is going to have your incliner, as well as a tri-fold sofa. So this will fold out into a bed, giving you an extra sleeping space. If you do have additional guests and require an additional bed, not a problem. I'll talk about it more a little bit later, but up front you are going to have a queen bed that's going to drop down over your cab. Also, as we take a look, one of the things that they did for 2016 is change the woodwork. Beautiful, beautiful, solid surface, uh, or hard woods in here. Uh, you're going to have the, the glaze that's going to be on top of it, the brushed nickel poles, the hidden hinges all the way throughout. Just gorgeous. They did a fantastic job on the wood in the 2016s. Also, one of the things I really like in the back here, you're gonna have slow rise shades. The slow rise roller shades work wonderfully. Just pull them down, they go up super easy. Not gonna be like your cloth ones where you have strings, you have to worry about them breaking. They're gonna be extremely functional. 
across the way in our full slide, you'll see uh, again we're going to have our window with our shade here, some extra lighting, and this is where our TV is going to be. So the TV does have a countertop piece on top so that it can sink down into the countertop in case you want the view out the window. Otherwise, you get this gorgeous TV, perfect location straight across from the couch. Along with that, you will have a sound bar, and then tucked away in this cabinet, you're going to have a DVD player. Here's going to be your main eating area. Now this does have an extension, super easy, this pulls out, you'll have an extra leaf that's going to go right here for any additional guests, and of course you'll also have two foldable chairs that we currently have tucked away in the bedroom. You're also going to get a cup holder here, which is great, uh, you know, just for extra placement because this chair is going to be mobile. Also, the, the driver's seats do swivel, so you get that extra cup holder. Always good to have more cup holders. As we move into the kitchen, this beautiful kitchen, look at all this room. Extremely open and roomy in here, which I love. Great for any kind of prep. Huge prep space on here. You have the solid surface countertops. We take a look at our faucet. You're gonna have a brush nickel pull out faucet. You have a double bowl stainless steel sink. Nice and deep sink, folks. It's not gonna be shallow like you see in, in some coaches. They didn't cheapen it up. You're gonna have the undermount sink in there as well which of course is going to be better to prevent any kind of water intrusion. Great storage space up top. Of course, I have some, some items in there currently, but a ton of storage space. And what's better, this shelf here and this shelf here are both gonna be adjustable. So that way you can go ahead and adjust them to what you would like to put in there. Also, take a look at this. This is a Whirlpool convection microwave. This is a huge convection microwave, folks. This is what's gonna take the place of your oven, which is fantastic. It's going to be larger. You can put a whole turkey in there. And because they do that, it's also going to free up some space down below. Before we take a look at that, though, I do wanna show you the uh, burner on here, our stove top. Okay, you're gonna have a three stove burner with the covers. The thing I love that Thor does, normally you have these covers and you're like, where do I put these? What do I do with these? They're in the way. Nope, not with, not with the Challenger. Boom, there they are. Has a spot for both of them to just sneak right in there, super nice and easy. When you're done, just pull them out and put them right back. Super simple. Uh, this is going to be a, your Atwood uh, stove top, so you do get better flame control on here than its Suburban counterpart. Also, underneath, very large drawers. Because we want the, the oversized convection microwave, it opens this drawer up, so you have plenty of space here. Another large drawer here, and another very large drawer right here. Though between those three drawers, you'll have plenty of space for all your pots and pans that you're gonna need. You're also gonna need a place probably for some hand towels and some silverware. Yep, no problem. That's what these are going to be uh, right here for. Check that out, that's gonna be an extra filter, whole house filter, have that tucked away right there. But you do get that extra as well. Great space underneath here too, plenty of space there. If you're looking for a place to put a trash can, that's where I would put one, nice and easy. Also, I mentioned that the TV goes up and down, just for your general knowledge, the uh, control for that is going to be right here. Just touch of a button, TV goes right down, super simple. Last, to round out the kitchen, one of my favorite parts is gonna be right here. This is the Whirlpool Residential Refrigerator. Now, right on the outside, you will notice it has the ice, uh, ice maker and water dispenser, which is great. That way, if you're making any kind of drink, a cocktail maybe, just put it right there, good to go, just like you would have in your home. As we open it up, a ton of space in here. You'll have your refrigerator on the right side, your freezer on the left side. You get uh, all these great shelves. The shelves are all going to be adjustable, which is fantastic. And then right up here, you'll see you can control both your freezer temperature and your refrigerator temperature. And also, it's going to tell you the status of your water filter. Now, if you're not currently aware, one of the things with the residential refrigerator is that they are going to be electric only. So this will have a dedicated inverter and battery, which are going to help power that. And in the event that your battery does start to run low, maybe you're you know, gonna be out for the day and come back and you're worried about everything in your refrigerator going bad, not a problem. This coach is equipped with an auto uh, automatic generator start. So it has a couple different settings. One of them is going to be when your refrigerator starts to get low, your battery starts to get low, that generator kicks on, recharges the batteries back up. They have additional things you can do, like if it gets too hot in here, it'll kick on, turn the AC on. Just a ton of great stuff, or if you don't have shore power, you're still gonna get taken 
care of. We're gonna have the bathroom, which we'll go into in just a second. One of the last things I wanna point out though, you're gonna have your control panel here. This is going to be your generator to manually start it, your water heater, which is going to run off uh, LP or electric, your slide controls, water pumps. This will be um, your uh, thermostat here. And this unit is also going to be equipped with Rapid Camp. This is a very, very cool system. It gives you a remote. Um, this will allow you to control your slides. It lets you control your generator, your lights. You can do all of that remotely. Huge advantage if you're in a tight camping space, you can go outside, open up your slides, let your awnings out, make sure you're not gonna hit any trees. If it's late at night, you know, and you can have it by your bedside, turn the generator on to start up the AC, just a great system all around. But all right, folks, let's go ahead and check out the bathroom, then we'll scope out the bedroom. In the bathroom, you'll see you're gonna have great uh, counter space in here, a ton of linen closet, which is excellent. Uh, you have a uh, towel bar that's already going to be built in. Your stainless bowl, that's gonna be something new for 2016. They upgraded your sink there, which is excellent. You have a mirrored medicine cabinet up top that does open up for extra space there. And then you're going to have a very large shower enclosure. So this will be a tri-slide door on here, but nice big shower enclosure, huge skylight lets in a ton of light. And then also down below, we're going to have our stool, plenty of leg room there. And of course, this room will be heated. Next to our residential refrigerator, you're also going to get a very large pantry. Now this is going to be multi-use. If you would like, you do get some excellent uh, drawers here, as well as a hanging rod for clothing. The other option is this back panel will come out and you will have washer dryer hookup. So if you are looking to put washer dryer in your coach, this is where it would go. Also next to that, you do get additional deep pantry space, which is great. More space, the better. And then tucked away right here, you do get an additional cup holder. Great place to put a glass of water, that way maybe if you need to get up and use the restroom, you have the glass of water tucked away right there for you. Also, as we move into the bedroom, you'll see you get great wardrobe space here. So that way if you have washer and dryer, no need to worry, excellent space. You do have adjustable shelving, so you can have shelves in there too. Underneath, you've, you'll get some extra drawers. You get three drawers here, the bottom one being larger, nice and deep there. And then as we move over in between, you'll see we're going to have something very mimicked on the other side. So you can have another wardrobe here that we kind of have a his and hers wardrobe, which is phenomenal. This is where your uh, stereo is going to be built in. This is what controls the speakers outside. But again, like I mentioned, this is going to be Bluetooth capable, so that way you can control it all remotely. But sandwiched right in between, you're going to get your TV here. Of course, your slow rise shades, which are nice and easy again to operate. You have your rear thermostat stat control here which is going to control your second AC. Also you'll get some plug-ins. Uh, one of them is going to be your charging center which contains four USBs for all of your handheld devices. Also you'll get three drawers here in the middle just for additional clothing storage. Then as we look at, uh, at the bed, you're going to have a beautiful king bed. This will be on a slide out, give you some extra room there. You have that uh, handcrafted headboard, which is fantastic. Windows on either side, nice big shelves, uh, plenty of space. Again, if you need to charge anything, you have space there. And of course, we have storage up top. Again, with that beautiful woodwork that they put in for 2016, the hidden hinges, uh, you know, that glazed wood, it's, it really is just gorgeous. All right, folks, why don't we go ahead and take a look at some of the features in the cab. In the cab of the coach, both your driver's and passenger seats are going to be an ultra plush flex steel leather seats. Both of them are going to swivel around to really utilize the space. In between, you're also going to get a spot for a table. So that way, if you want to you know, play cards, maybe have a sandwich or something nice and simple, you can go ahead and do that. Also, as we take a look at our dog pit here, one of the things I like to point out about this, this center module 
If you notice, that's gonna be a fiberglass surround. So what they do there is they eliminate all that carpet, which if you have a motorhome currently with the carpet there, you're familiar, it gets really dirty. And also they shrunk down the size and they insulated it extra well to help reduce a lot of the engine noise. But built into that console, you're gonna have four cup holders, which is excellent, a non-slip mat. You're also gonna have a cup holders on either side in addition. Also in that center console, you'll see here, we have a couple extra extra plugs, which just pop off, USBs here, and then our uh, 12 volt there makes it nice and easy. Also an extra uh, area to store, you know, wallet, cell phone, whatever you would like right there. Of course, you'll have your thermostat controls. Above that, you're going to have your uh, radio as well as your backup camera built in. As we move over to the driver's side, it'll probably a little tough to see with the sunlight bearing down there, but there's gonna be our cup holder. Next to that, you're going to get automatic leveling. Uh, of course, you'll have other controls up here, everything from your map lights to your fans, uh, additional charging. And then over on your passenger side, you'll see this beautiful desk. This just lifts up, makes it really convenient if the passenger, again, wants to have a meal while they're on the road. Maybe they wanna do some work. You can put your uh, iPad there or your laptop, uh, whatever you would like. Also, under, uh, underneath on the, um, on the passenger side here, you are going to have a uh, regular plug-in. So if you do have that laptop and you need to plug it in, not a problem, you're gonna have that 120 over there. Also up top, you get great storage here. You're gonna have your map lights and both your fans. And then right above me, this is going to be your drop-down bunk. Let me go ahead, go ahead and show you what that looks like when it's down. So this is one of the beauties of the Thor Challenger is they are going to be equipped with the overhead bunk. There's a control right over the stairwell as you walk in. It'll be uh, on an electric worm driven gear. So that way it's just touch of a button, slides down, has a spot for a ladder here. The ladder is currently um, tucked underneath your king bed in the bedroom. But super simple to get up and use, a great feature. The nice thing about this is even if you can't see yourself using it, if you ever do go to sell the coach, you never know. The person that you're selling it to may need, may need an extra spot to sleep and that will help your resale value. All right, folks, I really hope you enjoyed the tour. It's a beautiful coach, has a ton of great stuff in it. The amenities, you have the, one of the best paint jobs in the industry, a ton of storage, 36 foot long. You can take this coach pretty much anywhere. When you look inside, you have the beautiful redone woodwork, residential refrigerator, auto gen start, just a ton of amenities. Definitely something you need to come out and, and take a look at. If you do have any questions, please go ahead and leave your questions and comments on the video. I'll be happy to answer them as soon as I am able or you can go ahead and give us a call. Again, my name is Ian Baker. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you soon.